everybody this is Abby with Scrap and Abby and I am so excited you guys I have received my first ever pocket letter in the mail today this came my husband brought it to me um, as I'm laying in bed not feeling so good today anyway this totally cheered me up and totally perked up my day this is from one of my crafty BFFs and um, one of my scrap gals Cheryl who was here over Valentine's weekend along with um, three other of my um, crafty BFFs for a scrap gals retreat that I held at my house and I had made one of these for each of my friends and I do have um, I think I have I created a playlist for just the pocket letters if you guys want to go check out and see what I made for each of them and she told me that she was sending me one and I am so excited about it this is so beautiful now Cheryl if you're watching this and hopefully you are I do want to let you know there were about three or four things that were um, loose in one of the pockets and they were it was inside the packaging everything's fine nothing's damaged or anything so I just put it into this full this slot here because it was empty so if you see me pulling something out and you're like that's not where I put it. It's because it was loose in the, in the mail envelope. So anyway, I just want to tell you that. This is so beautiful. I love it. And she knows my color is purple. And I love this. So, so cute. Love that shimmery paper. And this is a little banner. This is adorable. I can pop this off and use this. Actually, I'm not going to. I'm going to keep my pocket letter intact. I'm going to um, start a notebook or binder. So hopefully, um, as time goes on, I will get more pocket letters. This fell out too, so I'll just show you this right now. This is just a little um, sampling strip of some different bling. And if you guys are not familiar with what pocket letters are, um, Jeanette Lane, I'll put a link to her YouTube channel in the description. She is the one who came up with this original idea idea and the fun thing about it is that you this is a really fun way to send samplings of different crafting items that you like to your other crafty friends and you can mail it flat like this like Cheryl did which is totally fine or you can fold it up and mail it and have it decorated which is what I did with theirs because I knew they were coming to my house because it was kind of bulky so um, you can see how I did that I have a separate video on just how I um, custom wrapped each one so that's kind of the the uh, the quick story behind what pocket letters are if you aren't familiar with this and you can do this for all kinds of fun things it doesn't have to be crafting you could do it if you're a, you know a seamstress you could put sewing notions just friends you could put in candies you know guys you could do fishing lures and you know gift cards things like that just all kinds of really fun things that fit into these um, baseball trading card sleeves so I'm just gonna go ahead and get started from the top here Sorry, I'm filming this um, from my bedroom, so hopefully the camera's not too shaky. And um, to start with the top, this is super cute. So inside each pocket are some crafty goodies, and I can't wait to see. So excited, Cheryl. Thank you so much for this. And this first one, there are some stick pins from Petaloo. See, this is the idea, you guys. You just send a sampling. You don't have to send uh, the whole package. Just, you know, a few items that fit into the little pocket. It's just perfect. And just what you need is little embellishments. I love that. That is cute. She wrapped some of this really cute trim on the bottom of this uh, craft tag. So lots of fun. Love that one with a doily. This is a cork one. This is great. Love that. So fun. And bear with me. I'm going to put each item back in the um, slot because I'm not, like as I mentioned, I'm, I'm not in my craft room and I don't want to lose anything up here. So sorry if this is taking a little bit of time. And this is the middle one. Let's see here, I'm trying to peer over my tripod. Oh, this is cute. This is some little samplings of some different trims. I love this little purple one. I have this lilac and I'm actually out, so this is perfect. Um, Cheryl, thank you. And there's some twine up here and it's wrapped so cute and sweet with that washi tape. Love it. Love it. Oh. So for you guys, while I'm kind of um, futzing with this, if you guys um, watching my video um, do pocket letters or you're interested in wanting to maybe do pocket letters with me, I mean within reason because I can't, you know, I can't make like a hundred of them or anything, but I guess I could. But if you guys are interested, um, let me know because I'm looking for people to um, do pocket letters with. I think that'd be a lot of fun since I've, um, and I explained why my pocket letter video, why I'm just now getting into the, oh I already showed you that, it's the pocket letters, but um, it's so it's it's fun for me. And this is some washi tape samplings. I don't have any of these, none of these patterns or colors. This is beautiful. It looks like peonies on there and I love peonies. That's really, really pretty. This is a really cute stripe. 
some polka dot, black and white, and then pink with gold polka dots. Super cute. These will work perfectly in my planner. And I love these flowers. These are so cute. Some craft and the butterflies with the script on it. I like that a lot. It's very cute. Thanks so much, Cheryl. I'm trying to not annoy you guys and keep saying, oh my gosh, or, you know, thank you so much. But I'm extremely appreciative of this. So it means a lot to me because I know, Cheryl, you're really busy. You work, you're a mom, and you know, you've got a busy life. You took the time out of your day to make something for me, and it really means a lot to me. So thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. And so this one here, I love this. Oh, these are stickers on top of the um, the sleeve. I didn't realize that. Look at that. That is so cute. They're like coffee mugs or, or cups. I love that. Cheryl, you have to tell me where you found these or if this is something you cut maybe like on a Cricut or something. I love that. I'm a huge tea drinker, so I love that. Okay, trying to get this out. Bear with me, guys. I was my crafting would be a little bit easier, but and oh, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? You sent me a Starbucks gift card? No way! Oh my gosh, Cheryl, thank you so much. You did not have to do that. That oh, for, oh, thank you. I can get myself a caramel macchiato. Thank you so much. And I love that card. I keep these because I'm a Starbucks girl. I love coffee and tea, and I keep all of my gift cards. Um, as you can imagine, of quite the collection. And I especially love the ones that have these different designs on them. So cute. I'm using them in my planner. So thank you so much, Cheryl. And this is really cool packaging idea. I'm actually going to um, put that in my um, stash so I can kind of make these on my own. That's really clever. So I love that. Thank you so much. Now I can go have a macchiato on Cheryl. That is so cool. Okay, I'll take a peek at this middle one. I think that this is the one where you put the T, yeah. And so I wanted to tell you guys that the middle one, there is no set way to do your pocket letter. You can arrange it however you want to. But how um, Jeanette Lane kind of showed it, and that's kind of the pattern or that I'm kind of followed, is that you, in the center one or any pocket you want, you can put like a little tea packet or a little chocolate square, something like that. So that's what this little um, teacup image is for because I shared some tea with them as well. And she sent me my favorite one. This is my favorite one. It's from Trader Joe's. It's ginger pear white tea. So thank you so much for that. I had a cup of that this morning, actually. Sorry if I'm talking loud. I, the camera's like right below my face because I'm using my tiny tripod. So just making sure I got everything out of there. These are cute. I love these little note cards like this that you can use, these little word strips and stuff. And these are like a playing card thickness. Relax friend good I have this balanced on my new sketchbook I just got so um, I like that does it say faith oh yeah faith oh I love that so like little playing cards aren't these cute there's a K I can use that for my daughter K for Kaylee this is a wood one this is nice I don't have any of those look it's like a cake on a little cake pedestal something else I like to collect little cake stands H for Henderson that's my last name that's awesome A for Abby this is awesome. Brave. I'm going to use these ones, I think, in my um, Trigemal Neuralgia um, book I'm making. So, Hope. These are perfect for that. I love what these um, sentiments say. Um, play. It'd be kind of cute to write, to handwrite creative about that for creative play today. When in genuine. And these are some numbers. Three. And then an R. So, thank you so much, Cheryl. These are fabulous. I already have a couple ideas for these in um, some planners and in a layout that I'm actually working on. So, well, it's in my brain anyway. I haven't actually started working on it yet. That's not really true, but it, I will get there. Let me just tuck that little strip of bling in there so I don't lose it on the bed. My husband finds it and he's like, what is this? So down here in the corner in the lower left, this is typically where everybody's putting their little note to your friend, whether it's somebody, um, like for my girlfriends, I know them obviously, so I wrote a hand note um, specific to each one and I shared what I liked about them and why I loved having them as my friend. But something else I saw on different pocket letters that Jeanette Lane had um, said, if you're doing pocket letter swap with somebody you don't actually know, you could put some things on the card like 
you know, five or six things that are about you so they can get to know you. And then you can ask them questions like what's your favorite color, what's your favorite craft item, you know, different things like that so you can get to know that person. So it's kind of like, you know, pen pal. It's really cute. And this is a really cute card, like it says noted. So I won't share the um, note with you guys since it's personal, but um, I'll pull it out just to look at it here so I don't forget to look at it when I'm off down filming so I'll save that for my eyes and this one here this is the one even the paper Cheryl was out of the sleeve so again I apologize if I didn't put these items back where you originally put them I just um, wanted to make sure I didn't lose any of the bits and pieces so I'm gonna grab everything out of the pocket first and then I'll share with you what each item is so I did kind of get a sneak peek of um, what was in this sleeve since I had to put everything back in there and again, I'm not complaining or being negative about that. I'm just explaining why it's different. So this is really cute. I love that part. So these are the goodies that um, were in that particular sleeve. Love these sequins. I'm really getting into the whole sequin thing because I have the fuse, it, uh, fuse tool. So this is perfect. And I love the purple and the silver, obviously. This is, uh, let, me, let me look at these up close here real quick. Um, these are little word strips. They look like they're like metal or like real thin and they say different things on there. I don't want to lose the pieces, so I won't open those, but I love these. You can use these in so many different applications, tags, you know, in a journal spot, in your planner, all kinds of fun things. And here is another little goodie bag. These are some more sequins and different bits. There's like a button, there's like some little flower pieces in there, and little bits of like the confetti glitter. This is really cute. I don't have any of those colors and i love arrows this is cute and they're metal and this is really thick and there's actually two and they're tim holtz you know i'm a tim holtz junkie <laughs> so this is perfect i love it and this is a great thing too guys if um you know because i know a lot of the um metal effect uh, metal embellishments and tim holtz products and things like that aren't always the cheapest but if you buy one package and you just take a couple things out and share it in a pocket letter it, you can really make your um dollar go you could get like, like probably three or four different pocket letters out of one package of goodies depending on how many you share so that's just another fun way to share um you know some things that maybe maybe somebody doesn't have access to or maybe not have the money to buy a lot of the metal embellishments and the kind of higher price craft items it's a good way good way to give them a sampling of that so really really fun and for the last pocket i just want to share this with you guys i love that wood tag it says friends and i'm so glad we're friends cheryl um i really um you guys have really um added a lot of value to my life and i love you guys to death so make sure i got everything out of there these are adorable i do not have any of this particular dark stained um little mini clothes pins these are so cute and here's some black in here oh these are even tinier these are so sweet i love them these are fun to use um on the top of a journal or a planner page so these are so sweet. I love it. Just a perfect sampling of some little crafty goodies. I just love this whole planner um, concept from Jeanette Lane. It's just amazing. I love it. And it's so fun. So anyway, um, I will show you guys this pocket letter again as I'm kind of wrapping up the video. So like I said, you guys go check out on my YouTube, on my channel. I'm fairly certain I created a playlist just for pocket letters. If I didn't, you can search my channel for those videos, and I will make a pocket letter. And so cute, so much uh, detail on the decoration. I love it. And um, I am looking to do some pocket letter swaps with some people. I mean, you know, I not not that I expect to get like hundreds of people saying, "Oh, Abby, swap with me." I'm not trying to imply that, but you know, I would love to have a few people to do some pocket letter swaps with. I think it'd be fun. And I've also seen in some other videos where people do themed ones, like for Christmas or you know, Fourth of July or birthdays and that kind of stuff. And that'd be fun too, because that's kind of a cool way. Because not everybody probably buys specific. Um, oh, I didn't put that back in there correctly. Um, you know, like I'm not a real big um, purchaser of like Easter or Valentine's craft items, but it's fun to have a little bit so you can make some projects. So that would be a fun way to share some of those um, themed or holiday craft items with friends is to do a pocket letter for that season. So I just love this. Thank you so much, Cheryl. I really appreciate you taking the time to make this and send it to me. Um, it does mean a lot. This is my first ever one. So first one I've ever received. Let me correct that. And um, this will 
mean that much more, especially because it came from you. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video, go read my note from you, Cheryl, and I'll go ahead and send you a message on Facebook, let you know that I received it. Thanks, you guys. Happy crafting, happy planning, happy planners, uh, pocket letter swapping, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Hey guys, you thought you got rid of me, didn't you? So I wanted to just come back on here because I actually missed something. This was tucked in behind the letter that I just read from my friend. And I seriously have like tears in my eyes. I am so blessed to have Cheryl in my life. I really am. And this is a little to-do note that was in here and I missed it. So I apologize for that. This is perfect for my planner. I love it. I could even slip it in my purse. I love it. So thanks so much, Cheryl. And something else I didn't even notice until I was looking at this closer. Um, I think I messed it up with my hand, but the E's up here, which I was like, well, what's that E from? And it says down here, coffee time. And that is perfect. It's so cute because that is where the Starbucks gift card is. I just love this, Cheryl. It's so clever. Thank you so much again. And um, I for sure am letting you guys go this time. <laughs> Bye.